There is only one MCU movie coming out this year. And honestly, it might make them some money. Stop the cow. <laughs> after garbage film, after garbage television series, putting Marvel Disney in the red, there is some light at the end of this tunnel. Let's fucking go. Deadpool and Wolverine just recently released another trailer and it looks like another great Deadpool film. But will this be enough to bring people back? Bring people back into this mess of a franchise? Probably not, but let's take a look into it. Okay, first things first, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. No one else has really been so connected with a character like he has. I mean, sure, you can reboot the franchise, recast the character, but everyone knows Hugh Jackman will forever be Wolverine. So it is nice seeing him one last time probably playing this character. And what better screen partner to have than Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool? Much like Wolverine, I think Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool are synonymous with each other. I don't think anyone else could play Deadpool as well as Ryan Reynolds has in the past. And I think this idea of bringing these two very iconic characters and these two actors who play these characters into a movie together will attract a lot of people and put a lot of butts in seats in theaters. Doesn't really matter if it has good effects or good writing or a good story, people will go see this movie for Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jack. But speaking of story, let's discuss where this new adventure is going. Based off this trailer in the last one and my totally accurate analysis of this trailer, I think the story will go something like this. I think the TVA will inherently realize that the MCU isn't working and they need Deadpool to reboot. And naturally, Deadpool wants to bring on Wolverine because they need to make up for that awful X-Men Origins film. But him doing that will unleash a plethora of cameos from the 20th Century Fox universe. In the trailer, we already see Azazel is confirmed. We see Lady Deathstrike, but I think there's gonna be hundreds more it's gonna be a bunch of cameos from people you don't even remember so basically the entire cast of the dark phoenix movie because honestly who remembers that shitty movie anyway and then after they save the mcu deadpool and wolverine hold hands and walk off in the sunset living happily ever after obviously that's not exactly how it's gonna go down but i think the premise is kind of there. i do think it will be a somewhat simple plot with a lot of cameos because i think this is 20th Century Fox's last hurrah with the characters they had in their universe. So they need to give one last send off to these characters before the MCU takes over and reboots it and probably regenders them. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Another thing I do want to bring up is the action does look really cool in this trailer. The previous Deadpool movies I thought did his combat really well and it's really fun to watch. So hopefully that continues in this film. And who is this right here? Is that a woman Charles Xavier? Wait, a woman's in this film? Those internet trolls are probably in the comments section right now, storming up hate because we can't have a woman in the film. Urgh. I'll just sit here and listen to those trolls and block every single one of them. I guess they forgot to comment, so it's whatever. So yeah, the trailer overall, gets me kind of excited for this film. Action scenes, great actors, cameos galore. I'll be in theaters. But like I said in the beginning, this is the only Disney Marvel movie being released this year. It's funny because Sony is releasing more Marvel movies than Disney. Is. Turns out Sony is just re-releasing Madam Web all throughout the year. No, God, please, no! But with this being the only Disney Marvel movie, it seems like they're putting all their chips in with this film. And I, I think it will pay off in the end. I think it will definitely bring a lot of people back into this universe. And honestly, I think it will make a billion dollars. And that's saying a lot, because this movie is going to be rated R. But the big question, the thing that's on everyone's mind is, will this movie save the MCU and put it back on track? Will Deadpool be like he said, Marvel Jesus. In my opinion, no. I don't I don't think so. I think honestly it will do more harm to the franchise than the Marvels did. <laughs> you serious? Listen, it will make them money. It will be a probably a good film for them. But where do they go from that? If this movie does well, it just kind of reiterates what the audience enjoys. Two bros going across the universe 
battle sequences, action scenes, and meaningful plot lines. And they definitely don't want whatever they keep pushing back because of the writer's strike. I mean, notice how there's no hype for any films past Deadpool and Wolverine because they know it's all garbage. I mean, what's even up next after Deadpool and Wolverine? What's the next film after that? Captain America and Brave New World. I mean, wasn't that film like reshot like 10 different times? It really feels like they don't know what they're doing with this franchise anymore. And they really don't know what they're doing with the characters. I mean, have you seen the leaked Red Hulk images? This, this can't be real. They made my boy super thick. I mean, what was I thinking? I thought it was going to be a red pill Hulk and he's gonna look like the liver king and talk in Andrew Tate-isms. If Deadpool and Wolverine comes out and it's a huge hit, and then right after Captain America comes out and it's a stinker, I hate to say it, and I'll say it again, the MCU is dead. Cause that just shows the MCU cannot make good consecutive films. I mean, what, we get one good film every couple of years now? Remember before Endgame and Infinity War, we had this run of top tier Marvel films, Civil War, Black Panther, Thor Ragnarok, Remember those times? If Deadpool and Wolverine is a win, then it won't carry the momentum forward, especially if they keep going down, I'll say it, the MCU path. The path of terribly written women characters, terribly written stories, and meaningless plot lines that don't get brought up in any other film. It's been how long since that giant robot sentinel thing from Eternals has been frozen in the Atlantic and not one film has brought it up? at least make a joke about the it. The only thing meaningful in these films is the diversity in the cast and crew. We've seen it before and there's evidence that doing that loses money in the box office. You take focus away from the important things about filmmaking, direction, writing, storytelling. Hence why this franchise is losing so much money. They spend a shit ton of it making these films, but really no one is going to see it. New reports are coming out that they're spending even more on their budget with these films. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania set to blow its budget as costs surged to nearly $330 million. I mean, half that money probably went to these VFX shots getting done. And by getting done, I mean making this guy look somewhat decent. Look at me. I'm such a dick. But this seems to be a common trend now with these films. They spend so much on these movies making it and they just what? Barely or don't make their money back. So yeah, Marvel Disney needs a win right now. In the end, I'm genuinely excited for Deadpool and Wolverine. These are my two favorite Marvel characters played by my two favorite actors. And I am sure not the only one that feels that way. So yeah, this movie will be successful. It will be a win for the MCU. But in the long term, it will probably push the MCU forward to that cliff they're jumping off. But of course, I do want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about the new Deadpool and Wolverine trailer? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.